Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about what is the number one reason that keeps people broke or keeps you broke. So Kirby, I'm going to hand this off to you. I'm going to let you open this one off and then I will go off with you. I think the number one reason why people are broke is because of lack of education. And I'm not meaning education as far as what level of schooling you went to. I don't believe people understand how money works. I mean, for the life of me, I don't understand why people still write zero dependents when they go get a job on the W-4s and then they brag about a tax return because they don't understand how money works. And then they don't understand time either. But these are the number one reasons. They just don't understand the process of money and how it works. Like everybody for the end of time if tell people to save money to save, save money, and then don't realize that the bank don't look at saved money. Oh, no, the bank does it also, but the bank don't look at money that you deposit as an asset. They look at it as a liability. So what do they do? They take every hundred dollars you invest and they and they loan it out nine times, and then they get a return on the money. So if the banks don't like your money being saved, even though they tell you to save the money with them. If they don't like your money sitting there in the deposit and they putting it to work, why aren't you putting your money to work? But I believe it's just a lack of education and understanding how money works and the the bad teaching from previous generations that that taught people. And of course, nobody believed their parents ever taught them wrong, but just a just lack of knowledge of how the whole operation works and how money works. That's the number one reason why people are broke and that's the number one people the reason why people will stay broke in my view alex what you got all right um so my view is that so i probably should have worded it better maybe this number one reason why people never get out of being broke or the reason why people stay broke and i'm smiling because i had said family before the video so family would be my reason and I want to give an explanation because I'm not trying to call out my family. I'm not trying to say, oh, it's my family and whatever. But family in general, I have seen many people come to me. And this is why I say it, because a lot of personal encounters where I've been talking to people, whether it's friends or whatever, people at work, coworkers, that talk to me about finance. And a lot of their struggles come from an issue in their family. And, you know, I've I've seen people where they want to get their own place. They have a kid. They want to get their own place or whatever, whether they're renting or whatever. They want to be more independent, but they can't because they're helping their mom. They're helping their mom pay all the bills and their mom is lazy or whatever and doesn't want to pay the bills. And at the same time, that same mother is saving their money so that they could buy themselves a house but making their son pay all the bills at, in the house that they're renting things like that where families taking advantage of you i've seen instances where kids are constantly taking from their parents even in adulthood and they're constantly asking for money and you know they just invite themselves over to uh, you know as a full-grown adult in their 30s or whatever invite themselves over to the parents like no, like, don't even give the parents an option. And I'm not a parent. Maybe Kirby can say that that's just how it is or whatever. But kids will just go back to their parents' house, stay there until whenever. No, no end date in sight. Just going to stay with their parents until they save up money. And the parents are forced to go back to now buying more food for, you know, for the household, paying higher costs and utilities. The parents are trying to retire. And now they've got another responsibility of helping their kid get back into being an adult, um, I've, seen, I've seen instances where, you know, brothers, sisters, parents rob from their siblings, from their kids, from whatever. And so I think family is one that holds you back, especially because when you do start to make money, they feel entitled to the money you're making. And then if not feeling entitled, they are bad influences in the same in the sense of they will pressure you into what you should be spending your money on or how you should be spending your money 
and these are easy pressures to fall into for most people because it's family and they don't want to let their family down and they want to keep their family happy especially if it comes from parents uh, or a sibling and so it's hard for them to actually just cut family off when necessary and make those independent decisions to better their lives now alex uh i was hoping that you didn't pick family because that's what i was gonna pick <laughs> um, I can see I can see the YouTube short system come from this already and you're going to get a lot of hate mail because of it but I'm going to back you up I'm going to back you up and say you're 100% correct besides I mean of course I believe people's lack of knowledge that's the reason why they let family do it they don't understand how money works so that's another nuance of why they let their family do it um, I know all growing up for me I believe it's the same for you you know, you was taught family is everything, family is everything. And then so you get that ingrained in your system, family is everything. But the truth of it is, everybody's not looking at it the same way. The family is looking at it. You still have those devious people that's like, oh, they believe family is everything. So if I give them a family story, then they have to give me the money because we're family. I've heard millions of times, oh, but we're family. That for me that don't mean a thing because family is is a great proponent of why most people stay broke i mean in my family it's the same way i mean for the life of me and that's why i went with how money works and knowledge for the life of me i've had multiple 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 family members that came across lump sum of money and every time the family member called me and asked me what should i do with it the first advice i always tell them is don't take advice from people that's broke don't take advice from your family members. But of course, they think that I'm joking, which I'm not. I'm always serious. And I tell them I'm serious, but they don't believe it because they think, oh, we're family. They have the best intentions for me. No, they have the best intentions for themselves. You're just a sacrificial lamb if you give them the money. If somebody's telling you, once you get a lump sum of money and the word is spend, then it's bad advice. If the word is not invest or save, then it's bad advice. You never had the money in the first place. So act like you still don't have it. Go put it into something that will grow over time. But no, family members are going to tell you every story about how they're behind on rent, how they need this, or, and everything is going to become a mercy. Everybody's lights going to get cut off. Everybody's deals do because they know you have a lump sum of money. But soon as you lose that lump sum of money, they're going to say, oh, they had all that money and they lost it? They ain't going to say, oh, it was because they helped out all of us out. And you're going to become the butt of all the jokes in the family. But seven times, seven times it's happened in my family. And seven times they didn't listen. And then they blew all the money that they had within a year. All within a year. I'm, I'm giving them grace by saying a year. Within six months. And then I sit there and then I laugh. Because don't come to me with the sob stories after the fact. But when I was growing up, that was a big proponent of my family. Family is everything. Family should help our family. Then the people that had good paying jobs, the, the family members that didn't, they just kept leeching off the people that had good paying jobs. And the next thing you know, the people with good paying jobs, they didn't have no money no more. And then they just suffered the rest of their life. So I told myself at a young age, if I get there, the answer will be no. And I've hold, held true to that to the end of time. Is because especially now, my family members don't have an excuse. Every person in my family know what I do. Every single one of them know what I do. So if they want to make money, they know who to call, but they don't. They just want to be able to call me for a handout. And the answer is always no, because I'm willing to give you my time, energy, and effort so you can get to where I'm at. But you're not going to get the fruits of the labor to get me where I'm at. My family will not sacrifice one day. And when I say my family, I mean inside my household. My family will not sacrifice one day of their life from helping somebody else out who could have easily just called and asked, hey, what do I do with my money? Everybody's Everybody got 2020 vision what everybody else should do with their money, but then they become Ray Charles when it comes to their own pockets. And that's something that I won't deal with. So Alex, I agree with you. Family is a very huge proponent on the reason why people are broke. 
So that being said, guys, if you have any comments off of this, let us know. It's okay. Share the hate with your family. <laughs> Just playing. But uh, don't don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.